everyone. Welcome to ABC Interactive English, and I am Karen.、Uh, hello, everybody. I am Shane, and today we're doing part three of "It's Fun to Fish in the Sea." That's right. <laughs> So you know, last time you talked about your fishing experience, Ooh, but、wow. I also want to share mine. Great. Well, you know, I've only gone fishing once, once in my whole entire life. Sea fishing? No, it、oh. was in the lake. Oh, lake fishing. Well, I was actually quite young. I was about maybe.、Uh, Thirteen or fourteen years old,、okay. I stayed with my friend in her cottage, like a little house by the lake. And she she asked me. She said, "Hey, do you want to go fishing?" And I said, "Sure, why not?" Okay. And then we were just sitting there by the lake and、oh, so、trying you, to catch the fish. So you weren't in a boat. You were just by the lake on the like the shore、That's、of、right. the lake. That's right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what you just sat there. On and a, then we sat there. For a very, 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 very long time, and then nothing moved. We didn't catch anything,、so、and did- that was the end of my fishing experience. You didn't even get a bite on、nope. the fishing line. Not at all. Well,、so、did, that's why. Did you guys have a nice conversation and relax? Actually, we did. So we had a nice chat, but we could have done it without going fishing, right? We could have just sat、oh. by the lake and just chat and have some snack. I think that's what I would do. But <laughs> I've heard a lot of people love to go fishing because of that type of experience. <gasps> oh, the quality just, time! Just for relaxation and things like that. It's not even about really catching fish. So、oh, I guess you're right. maybe you did it right. Ah, okay. Yeah, well, I guess it is fun to fish, right? And especially maybe in the sea, there's nobody else that you can talk to except for your friend, who are you know who's with you, right? <laughs> right.、Mm. Okay, let's get into today's lesson. Let's go. Fishing from the shore of a river, lake, or ocean doesn't excite some people. These people would rather go sea fishing, so they hire sea fishing boats to take them miles out to sea. Okay, it's fun to fish in the sea, part three. That's right. Okay, well, let's go into today's article. Okay. So it starts off by saying, fishing from the shore of a river, lake, or ocean. Doesn't excite some people.、Mm. These people would rather go sea fishing. Ah,、huh. okay. okay. Well, I don't know if I quite understand that. I mean, I guess if you go fishing in the lake or by the river, the、right. water is very still and it's very calm. So it's not very exciting. Sometimes it is. So when you're on the shore,、mm. right? You're on land. That's right. Right. That's what it means to be on shore. It's、mm-hmm. the land that's along the edge of some kind of water. That could be a river. It could be the ocean.、Mm-hmm. Could be a lake.、Mm-hmm. So you're on the land. So I think it's quite different than being in the middle of the sea, right?、Mm. So for example, the word shore. You can say Lucy found some shells by the shore.、Ah. So on the land next to the water, she found some shells. That's right. And when we say the lake, that is a noun. It means a large body of fresh or salt water、mm. that is surrounded by land on all sides. So, okay, for example, I like swimming in the lake. Ah,、mm. it does sound pretty fun to swim in the lake. Swimming in a lake is so much fun.、Mm. I really love that because I used to do that, and it was so exciting. Really? Yeah, because you will have like、uh, maybe some rope that's on <gasps> the shore. That's right. And you can swing from the rope and jump into the lake. Okay. And maybe you can go on like some kind of jet ski. Oh, <gasps> that's right. I love jet skis. Yeah, it's all. Also exciting. So, what does this mean to excite?、Mm-hmm. To excite 
means to make somebody really happy, or maybe they'll feel very、um, enthusiastic,、mm -hmm. and they'll really look forward to doing something. For example,、mm. you can say this new project excited the students. Oh, so maybe the students are feeling really pumped up. They、yeah. feel they're looking Ooh, like forward to it.、Up. Yeah, That's right. Up,、yeah. They really want to do this new project, probably because it sounds like a lot of fun. Right. Right. Okay. So continuing,、mm. so they hire sea fishing boats. To take them miles out to sea.、Oh. Okay, so it's too boring for them to be on the shore fishing.、Mm -hmm. They wanted to go really far out into the sea to go fishing, miles and miles away.、Mm, so a mile—、mm. that is a noun. That's basically a unit that to measure length, right?、Mm -hmm. And or、uh, distance. Yeah. yeah, or distance. That's right. And a mile is equal to. Five thousand two hundred and eighty feet. Wow, you're smart. Okay, I have a question.、Mm. How many meters is that? Ha <laughs> ha! And I know the answer、What? to that question. That's just like the back of my hand. Okay,、oh. so a mile is equal to one thousand six hundred and nine meters. Wow. I am very, very good. Amazing. So,、mm -hmm. an example sentence would be: The supermarket is about five miles away. How many? How many? <laughs> how many kilometers is that? Um.、Oh. Uh, then I need some time. Okay, we don't have that much time. Okay, but in Taiwan,、mm. we don't really use miles, though. We use right. kilometers, right? In the United States, we use miles. How、mm. about in Canada? Kilometers. Kilometers.、So Right. Only in the United States, people use miles, right? I think I have some friends from the UK, and they also use miles. Really? I think it's a mix of miles and kilometers. Okay. Yeah.、I'm, so it's really hard to convert it in my head. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not easy to do the conversion because it's never like one mile is two kilometers. Yeah. It's、right. like two. Difficult to do the math in your head. You need a calculator. <laughs> okay, but anyways, we're talking about how exciting this experience is when、mm -hmm. you're going sea fishing, right? right? Because you're all the way out there. You're not anywhere close to shore, so that's why it excites a lot of people. Okay. Hmm. So how about let's take a short break and we'll come back and learn more about sea fishing. I'll use my calculator to find out how many mile, how many kilometers five miles is. Okay. There, the fish are bigger and more challenging to catch. It makes fishing for them more fun and more of a sport. Sea fishing is for people of all levels. The sea fishing boats have experts on board to help. Even if you don't catch any fish, you'll have fun on the water. Welcome back, everyone. So before the break, we were talking about how going fishing by the lake, by the river, that doesn't really excite people. That's、right. why a lot of people want to go sea. Fishing, but what is it about sea fishing that makes it so exciting? That is the part I don't really understand. Well, why don't I help explain it to you? Okay, that would be great. Okay, so they're in the sea. There, the fish are bigger and more challenging to catch.、Ah. It makes fishing for them more fun. And more of a sport. So you consider sea fishing a sport, right? I think because if you were to say, like, you went fishing with your friend、mm -hmm. on the shore of a lake,、mm -hmm. right? But I won't say that you guys were doing a sport. I didn't even move. You didn't even、bit. move, right? We just sat there for five hours. So if you're on a boat and it's moving around a lot, and the fish that you're catching are very big, and、uh -huh. maybe you have to pull them in, this environment is more challenging. 
which、oh. makes it more exciting and maybe more fun too, right? Right. Okay, so challenging. We're looking at this vocabulary word here. This is an adjective.、Okay. When you describe something as challenging, it could be something that is interesting or a difficult problem or a task.、Okay. So, for example. This was a challenging game for kids. So maybe、oh. for the kids, it was a little bit difficult, but a little bit interesting. It's not too easy for them. Yeah. So it's quite、and、challenging. Maybe, yeah, maybe, and hopefully not too hard, so that will keep them interested, right? That's right. Okay. Okay. Well, let's continue. Okay. Sea fishing is for people of all levels. The、okay. sea fishing boats. Have experts on board to help. Oh, okay. Wait, if we say there's experts on board,、mm-hmm. what does that mean? On on board. That means they're actually in the boat with you. Oh, okay.、That's、so if、right. you're on board a boat, that's what you mean. You just mean you're on a boat. Exactly. Okay, I got it. Okay.、Mm-hmm. And we have a word expert、mm-hmm. here. So an expert is someone who knows a lot about something. That's right. So, for example, you can say he is an expert in cooking. So that means he knows a lot about cooking, right? Yes. Karen is an expert at being cute. Yay! See, look at that. I know. I, said, I am. Right away. <laughs> okay, so let's continue on with、okay. the article. Even if you don't catch any fish. You'll have fun on the water. I guess you're right. Well,、hmm. <laughs> but we were talking about you know this sea fishing、yeah. is、uh, considered as a sport, right? And it's for people of all levels.、Uh-huh. So we have this word here, level, and that is a noun. Basically, that just means position and height, stage or rank. Height, so maybe stage, for、mm-hmm. you know beginners, advanced, intermediate. So in oh, our example、okay. sentence, it says people have different levels of ability at math. Some people so are maybe at a higher level, like this, right? That's like right. The levels are like this. So、mm. if you're at a low level, you're a beginner. That's right. Like easier, right? High level, you're an expert. That's right. And then it will be very, very advanced or very, very difficult, right?、Mm, so、okay. actually, it's like a sport for everyone.、Mm, right. I mean, if you enjoy that type of an environment,、mm-hmm. if you don't get seasick,、mm-hmm. and you Don't mind seeing dead fish.、Hmm. Yeah, for me, I didn't enjoy it when I went sea fishing. That's true. I remember that. But maybe for you guys out there, you might want to give it a try. Yeah, you know, different things for different people, right? Exactly. Well, this is all the time we have for today. We hope you enjoyed our lesson, and we'll see you guys next time. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Fishing from the shore of a river, lake, or ocean doesn't excite some people. These people would rather go sea fishing, so they hire sea fishing boats to take them miles out to sea. There, the fish are bigger and more challenging to catch. It makes fishing for them more fun and more of a sport. Sea fishing is for people of all levels. The sea fishing boats have experts on board to help. Even if you don't catch any fish, you'll have fun on the water. Hello, I'm Tina. 我们来看这课的重点单词。第一个 lake, lake 名词，湖泊。We used to go swimming in that lake. 我们以前常常在那个湖里游泳。下一个单词 excite, excite 动词，使兴奋，使开心。The news excited everyone. 这个消息让每个人都兴奋了起来。下一个单词 mile mile 名词里英里。The nearest hospital is ten miles away. 最近的医院离这里有十英里。最后一个单词 level level 名词程度。Students at this level need a lot of help. 处于这个程度的学生需要大量的帮助。接着我们来看重点文法。第一个 ，somebody would rather 加动词，某人比较喜欢或宁愿做某件事情。
Rather 指的是宁可宁愿的意思。我们来看看这个例句。My boyfriend wants to eat Japanese food, but I would rather go to an Italian restaurant. 我男友想吃日式料理，但我宁愿去意式餐厅吃饭。下一个文法 ，fish for something， 钓捕捞某个东西。我们来看看这个例句。They are fishing for crabs. 他们正在捕捞螃蟹。最后一个文法 ，more of a 加名词，更像是一个什么东西。这里是用来做名词的比较。我们来看看这个例句。To me, Mr. Jensen is more of a friend than a teacher. 对我而言，与其说 Jensen 先生是一位老师，他更像是一位朋友。以上就是这一课的重点单词跟文法。我们下一课再见喽，拜拜。She really likes fine art, especially painting. She enjoys Japanese air dry clay and wood painting too. Her painting of the map of the Art Street is beautiful. Zhang loves to make flower-themed art pieces. In order to give a bride a special bouquet, she creates clay bouquets. These bouquets can be kept forever. Zhang also teaches both kids and adults. She wants to show people how to make art part of their daily lives.